what can you do to be in the best position to get a high paying job in 2025? There's three main things that you need, but first, you need to assess where you are. Ask yourself some questions. Are you good at programming? Are you good at building AI ML models? Have you done any kind of data curation before? If you have done all of this before, how can you level up next? Can you apply for internships? Can you find a group that you can work with to build AI models and applications? Ask yourself these questions and let me know in the comments below where you stand. If you know where you stand, you will know where to go next. So what are these three things that you need to get a good high paying job in AI and ML? To understand that you need to first know that there are thousands of students graduating every year. And as years progress, there's always an accumulation of talent. But when it comes to job creation, it is not as fast as production of talent. So this creates a bottleneck where the ratio of jobs to people drops. In other words, it means that there's always more people fighting for fewer and fewer jobs. This is a very likely scenario. It happened in 2024, and there is a very good chance that it will happen again in 2025. We can discuss more about that, but that's not the point of this video. In this video, we're going to focus more on what is in your control. Things like the weather, the job market, the economy, those are not in your control. So what can you do to be in the best position possible. The number one thing that you will need is skills. You need to be first and foremost, very good at programming and preferably in Python. So if you're a software developer, I'm pretty sure that you're well versed with other programming languages. All you probably need is to understand and learn some syntax in Python. And if you've never been exposed to Python before, if you've never coded in Python before, this is probably the first thing that you need to focus on. Do not jump the gun, focus on getting very good at programming, especially object oriented programming in Python. Get good at using Python to clean up the data set and transforming the data in the form that you need to build a machine learning model. The next skill you need is to get good at writing functions in Python and classes in Python. Understand how classes are useful to implement specifically for machine learning. In other words, learn about packages like scikit-learn and pytorch and that's only to start with there are many packages including tensorflow as well these are simple packages that you most certainly will be using in ai and machine learning then you've got skills like data analysis which is also very important to understand your data set so get good at that you also need skills in a little bit of mathematics and statistics, which is very important. That way you can assess when your model is doing well or when it's not doing well, and it will help you make better decisions. And then that leads me to the second part. So now you're good at programming. You're good at statistical analysis and data analysis. You know a little bit of math that's needed for machine learning. And the next thing you need is knowledge because skills alone is not enough. You need knowledge to become good at decision making. Learn about different ML models, how they work. Learn about some of the standard procedures used when it comes to, for example, splitting the data set, hyperparameter tuning, and some of the key metrics that is used to assess a machine learning model. For this, you will probably need to read books. And if you're interested in some books and if you are looking for some books, check out the links in the description below. I have some links for a certain number of books that I found to be very helpful and very useful. Basically, when it comes to knowledge, you need to be well versed with the standard procedures that people use when building AI models or machine learning models in general. Understand why we split the data set. Understand why generalization is very important. Understand concepts like gradient descent. If you're into something like image processing, understand why convolutional neural networks are important and necessary for image processing. This is the part where you understand the fundamentals. So when it comes to actually applying machine learning models for a given data set, you will know the right steps to follow to make sure that your models, the models that you're building are accurate enough and also generalized enough such that it, any new data comes in that you can be reliant on the models that you've built. The last and the most important thing that you need is experience. Experience where you can show your skills and knowledge, not just some experience. 
This experience involves you showcasing your skills and also showing to the employers that you are good at making good decisions, decisions that's data driven. There's a ton of resources that you can use to improve your skills and knowledge, but let me spend a little bit more time explaining how you can get experience in 2025. I personally think experience is what's going to separate out the best from the rest. Number one, try to look for internships. Talk to people, network with people on LinkedIn. And if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can check me out on LinkedIn. Link will be down in the description again. Network with people, get to know what type of work they're doing and see if they have any openings for an internship. Or if not for an internship, just ask them about if there's any opportunity where you can work with them as an apprenticeship which may or may not be paid, most likely it won't be paid, but it is very important to shadow someone doing the work. That way you get a better idea of how to apply these knowledge and skills that you've gained. And you can also showcase that when it comes to your job interviews for your full-time positions. Look for government funded programs. Like here in the United States, there are many internship programs that are government funded and you can apply to some of them to get internships. For example, if you want to get a job or an internship in a national lab, you can look at the Suli program, S-U-L-I. I will leave a link down below in the description so you can apply to these internships, work with someone who has more experience in AI and machine learning, build your knowledge and do something that's of real value. If you're in college, if you're in grad school, in a master's program, or even a bachelor's program, you can always contact people within your university. It may be a different department or whatever. Talk to professors. There might be professors who have some money lying around that they can hire you on as an intern or a part-time graduate student worker graduate researcher they will pay you to actually do some of the machine learning work and this is also a way for you to get experience learn about the field and apply your skills and knowledge so make sure you're open to talking about everyone in your organization whoever's in this particular field and also people outside your organizations, uh, whether it's in terms of internships or whatnot. So early on in 2025, you should be aiming to get an internship. Your first step to improve your skills and knowledge to get an internship experience. If you already have some experience and you're applying directly for a full-time position, that will be a separate video. Let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, another video that I highly recommend watching is by Boris's recent video and I will put a link again to that in the description. I don't know him but he's a fantastic guy seems like at least from his videos he gives really good advice in terms of what you can do in 2025 so do check out his video and in the meantime if you're wondering how you can plan step by step on what you can do next I have a video right here which is for a roadmap in AI and ML. Do check that out and subscribe to the channel to support us. Hit the like button. That will also go a long way in supporting our channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays and stay blessed. Thank you.